guys, how's it going? Mike with New Way Ag. Today is going to be a brief kind of comparison video between the T100, the T60X, and then the T50. I'm telling you, here's the deal. This T100 is a big drone, but it's actually not as big as some people are thinking, right? Like here, 26 gallons, it must be much bigger than a T60X or a T50. It actually isn't. So let's start with the overall length. So, cause that's the longest point. If you take this propeller and you put it out like this and you have this propeller like that. So from that propeller tip to this propeller tip, that would be the biggest point of the drone. You're looking at on a T100, 12 foot, 10 inches across. Now the T60X is 12 feet and six inches. So it's about four inches longer, the T100. To think that it has 26 gallons and it's only four inches longer, that's impressive. As far as flying it off in the new way ag trailer, if you take a T100 up there, and you have a T100 open up, you can still fly two T100s easily off of the New Way Ag Trailer flight deck up top. If you're running a T60X or a T50, a 100 and a 50 are still gonna fit up there really, really nice. The biggest thing on the T100 is the height of the drone. If you look at how far the battery comes up to my hip, it's almost up to my hip. When you pull this battery out, it's a little bit higher, so it takes a little bit more to pull it up out. Now, if I stand next to the T60X, you will see that that is much lower, the battery is much lower, allowing me to pull it out of there easier than if it's you know about right here on the T100. It's not a huge deal pulling the battery out of the T100. I've been doing it there for a little bit and not a big deal. Now I will say after running the T100 for a little while and then coming back to the C60X, this drone feels much, much smaller now for some reason. I don't know, it just does. So the overall height between the T100 and the T60X not that much different to think that you're getting that much bigger of a drone. I didn't tell you guys the size of the T50. It's kind of like, you know, that thing's in the back burner now of my mind, but the T50 across, you're looking at 11 foot 10 inches on the T50. So it's quite a bit smaller. You're looking at 12 inches smaller than the, the T100 because it has a 10 gallon tank. It doesn't need to have as big of propellers and stuff like that. But overall, the T100, I'm telling you, is really, really good. It's an 80 acre drone all day long in decent fields. I'm not talking beautiful fields, I'm talking decent fields. I've seen it flying in rugged, gnarly terrain, cut up trees, shrubs, all kinds of different things. And it still was a 40 acre drone per hour in really difficult terrain doing four gallon work. So it is pretty impressive what this T100 is going to lay down. If you're going to do high volume stuff, there's no doubt you're gonna get more done with the T100. So on the batteries, there's not a huge change between the T60X and the T100 other than the battery is a thousand milliamps bigger on the T100 and it weighs about two pounds less than the T60X. The other thing is the edges of the handle are rubber compared to a solid handle over here. Again, not a huge deal, but you're looking at on both batteries with the DJI generators, you're going to supercharge these batteries between 30% and 90% in eight to nine minutes. They supercharged very fast using the DJI 14,000 generator. Okay, something you guys are probably wanting to know is, can you pick a T100 up by yourself? Probably not everybody is going to be able to do it. You're gonna have to be a little jacked. Let me show you how to do it. I'll, first, I'll start with the T60X. It's really easy to pick up a T60X by yourself. Let me fold up these arms here. Have to roll these out and then lift it like that. It's just not as wide. So the T60X and the T50, you can lift pretty easily. It's not necessarily the weight that makes it difficult to pick up maybe a little bit. It's the bulkiness that makes it hard to pick up the, the T100. But I can show you how to do it if you absolutely need to do it. Now I wouldn't recommend it because you don't want to be, you know, messing up your back or anything. You're definitely going to want to take the battery out of it. It's going to be harder to lift this thing because it's tilted down the hill. But let's see if I can do it. So you get behind the drone. And then you take your hands, you go underneath where the battery is and you kind of roll it back and then you lift it like this. So, can you lift a T100? Yeah, 
Do you want to carry it around? Not really, but it's doable. One nice thing about the T100 is your spray lances are not connected to your arms of your drone anymore. They're just these little booms. You can easily open them and close them on the T60X and the T50. Those are attached to the actual arm of the drone. Not a huge change there, but the swath on the T100, right now the data shows a 42 foot swath with two gallon to three gallon work. That is impressive. You can get a lot down where the T60X would tell you the swath is closer to that 36 foot compared to 42. A lot of acres are going to be covered with the T100. I'm telling you guys, this is the best spray drone ecosystem, the whole ecosystem available. It's got the latest and greatest vision sensors, the 360 radar, the LiDAR, the whole nine yards. Get a hold of us, newag.com, get your T100s and start ripping some acres, guys.